In this Easy Ed video lecture, we will take a look at virtual work, wherein we are going to learn about work of a force, virtual displacement and virtual work. We will also learn about the principle of virtual work. Previously, we have analyzed the equilibrium of a rigid body by isolating it with a free body diagram and then applying the various conditions of equilibrium. In this topic, we will learn about another method of expressing the conditions of equilibrium based on the principle of virtual work. This method is based on the concept of the work done by a force and is more direct. Let us now learn about work done by a force. If a rigid body is subjected to a force F which causes an infinitesimal displacement ds, then the work done U by force F during the displacement ds can be given by u equals f cos theta into ds where theta is the angle between the direction of force and the direction of displacement. Thus, we can conclude that the work done by a force during infinitesimal displacement is equal to the product of the displacement and the component of the force in the direction of the displacement. We will learn about virtual displacement and virtual work. When a system of forces act on a rigid body in equilibrium and the displacement of the body is zero, then no work is possible. But an imaginary infinitesimal displacement is assumed to be given to the body in equilibrium. Such a displacement is called as virtual displacement. The resulting work done by the forces on the body during the virtual displacement is called as virtual work. The symbols generally used for virtual displacement are delta x or delta y for the linear displacement along x-axis and y-axis respectively and delta theta for an angular displacement. Seriously, pay attention. This is important. Next, we will learn about the principle of virtual work. This principle states that if a rigid body is in equilibrium, the total work of the external forces acting on the rigid body is zero for any virtual displacement of the body. The principle can be mathematically stated as follows. Let us now prove this principle. Consider a system of forces F1, F2, F3 and couple moments M1, M2, M3 are acting on a body as shown. The linear forces F1, F2, F3 will have linear displacements as delta 1 delta 2, delta 3 respectively. These displacements are known as virtual linear displacements. Hence, the work done due to these forces is given by the summation of the product of the magnitude of a force and its virtual linear displacement. This work done is known as virtual work. Again, the angular forces that is couple moments m1, m2, m3 will have angular displacements as delta theta 1 delta theta 2, delta theta 3 respectively. These displacements are known as virtual angular displacements. The work done due to these forces is given by the summation of the product of the magnitude of a couple moment and its virtual angular displacement. Hence, the total work done due to linear forces and angular forces is given by summation du which is equal to the summation of both forces virtual linear displacements and couple moments and virtual angular displacements. This is the total virtual work done due to all the forces and the couples. The system of these forces will have some resultant R. Hence, the body will have some displacement delta. But if the system is in a state of equilibrium, then R is equal to zero. Therefore, the total virtual work done is equal to zero. Thus, we have proved the principle of virtual work. Let us now consider this problem. Consider the beam shown. Determine the reactions at supports A and B of the beam using principle of virtual work. We have to find the following three reactions. Vertical reaction at B and both horizontal and vertical reaction at A. Let us first find the vertical reaction at B. We will first impart a small angular displacement delta theta at A as shown in the figure. Using the distance of each point from point A and the formula S 
is equal to rd theta where r is the distance of each point from point A. We can find the angular displacement at point B, C, D and E. Applying the principle of virtual work, we get summation du is equal to zero. We can now directly multiply the forces acting at the points B, C, D and E with the respective displacements B, B dash, C, C dash, D, D dash and E, E dash respectively. On substituting the forces and their virtual angular displacements and then simplifying, we get vertical reaction at B equal to 2.647 kN acting vertically upwards. Next, we will find the horizontal reaction at point A. We will now impart a small virtual horizontal displacement delta x about the x-axis as shown in the figure. Applying principle of virtual work, we get summation du is equal to zero. On substituting the forces and their virtual horizontal displacement delta x and then simplifying, we get horizontal reaction at A equal to 7.563 kN acting to the right. Next, we will find the vertical reaction at point A. We will now impart a vertical angular displacement delta theta at B as shown. Using the distance of each point from point B and the formula S is equal to RD theta where R is the distance of each point from point B, we can find the angular displacement at point A and C. The points E and D will have displacements in both horizontal and vertical direction. Displacement about the horizontal direction can be directly found by calculating the product of distance from the point A and delta theta. They will have the same displacement along the vertical directions as A, D and E are lying on the same member. Applying principle of virtual work, we get summation of du is equal to zero. We can now directly multiply the forces acting at the points C, A, D and E with the respect displacements C, C dash, A, A dash, D, D dash and E, E dash respectively. We must remember that both points D and E will have displacements in both horizontal and vertical directions. On substituting the forces and their virtual angular displacements, and then simplifying, we get vertical reactions at A equal to 4.65 kN acting downwards. Let's have a quick review of what we have studied in this lecture. Firstly, we learned about work of a force. The work done by a force during infinitesimal displacement is equal to the product of the displacement and the component of the force in the direction of displacement. Next, we learned about virtual displacement and virtual work. An imaginary infinitesimal displacement assumed to be given to the body in equilibrium is called as virtual displacement. The resulting work done by the forces on the body during the virtual displacement is called as virtual work. The symbols generally used for virtual displacements are delta x or delta y for the linear displacement along x-axis and y-axis respectively and delta theta for angular displacement. Next we learned about the principle of virtual work. This principle states that if a rigid body is in equilibrium, the total work of the external forces acting on the rigid body is zero for any virtual displacement of the body. The principle can be mathematically stated as follows.